welcome back everyone. We have just finished reading this wonderful book by Eric Carle called A House for a Hermit Crab. And we learned that the hermit crab starts out in one shell and as it grows, just like when we grow, we get new clothes. Um, well, he doesn't really wear clothes, he wears shells and that's his house. And I'm sure I'm gonna show you really big shell and what they do is they crawl inside this shell and that protects them nice and hard and nothing can get at them and eat them because their body is soft like ours is and so when they outgrow they'll crawl back out and look for another bigger shell just like this one in this our story did and so what we're going to do today is we're going to make a hermit crab. Da, 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 da. And remember in the story how he thought that the shell, huh? It's nice, but he wanted to make it pretty. He wanted to decorate it with things. And so we have a little, the little lantern fish, and we have some of the coral, and we have a sea anemone. And we have one of the little snails that, you know, helps clean his shell. And we have one of the starfish or sea stars. And so what you need for this is small paper plate, what you've cut a curly little edge out of for where the opening for our crab. You need some red paint and some cardstock. You need a pipe cleaner, and I've used red. You don't have to use red. Some wiggly eyes, two wiggly eyes, and then some construction paper to make whatever it is that you want to put on your hermit crab to decorate his house. And so I have a sea star coral, a sea anemone, a sea snail, and a lantern fish. And so I have already cut mine out just to help this go a little bit. And I have big hands, so I would have to have had a really big plate to make my hermit crab. And so I borrowed my great nephew's hand, Torin's hand. So I already had, I painted his hand put it down on the paper, and then after it was dry, I cut the hand out to show the legs of the crab. Remember, he has 10 legs. So we are, we're looking at him from the side, so we only see the one side of his legs. So he's going to be going like this. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue him in. And you say, well, Miss Mary, that is a really plain looking shell. How do we even know that it's a shell? It just looks like a plate. So what we're going to do, now that we have the crab in his shell, we're going to go ahead and make a spiral design on it. A spiral design, and then I'm going to color it just a little bit to shade it. So I'm just going to take the side of my crayon, and this does not have to be you know, perfect or the same all the way around. I'm just giving it a little depth to show that it is, that it goes around and around. And if you look at my shell, you can see how it goes around and around in the spiral, just like this one. Just 
You can color it all the way in if you want. You can do one little line if you want. Because remember, you're going to be putting some friends on this shell. So now here he is. You said, okay, well that's part of him, but where are his eyes? And so let's put in his eyes. You're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to cut it in half. This is half pipe cleaner. And then what you're going to do to make the part of his eye, you're going to curl it around like this. And you want to make it a fairly tight curl in the front, at uh, the top of it for two reasons. One, because you don't want that metal to be out where it could scratch you. And then two, it has to, you have to be able to glue your wiggly eye on it. So what you want to do is make sure that you don't glue them both so they're going in the same direction. So after you glue the one, since it's going this way, I'm going to make sure that I glue the eye, the wiggly eye, on this side. So you can use regular glue, Elmer's glue, but for this, we're going to use a hot glue, which the grown-up is going to use. Um, because it's just faster. If you're doing it at home and you don't have a hot glue gun, that's fine. It'll just take a little while to dry. So you glue the eye on. And then, so if you are doing it at home and you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use the regular glue or you could uh, use um, tape. So you just put that on and you put this on and so here we have the beginning of our crab well it's still pretty plain looking so cut out some little figures that you want to put on your seashell and if you don't have construction paper and you might have stickers of like little fish or things that you find at the ocean, you could put stickers on here too. I've gone ahead and I've cut out some things. I have a sea star, I have some coral, I have a little fish, and then I have, I started to make my anemone and I thought, well, you know, I got fancy. So I made this one and I'm going to glue it on and it's going to be really fancy looking. And it'll be two colors and it'll be all over the place like this. And then my little sea snail, I made his body happens to be pink and his little antlers and I'm going to put a face on and his shell, I've got hot glue stop sticking on me. <laughs> I'm going to have his shell be blue. So I'm going to take my handy little glue stick. And remember, we always glue the smaller parts and then put them onto the big part. So on the sea snail, we would be matching the shell to the body. And so here's my little sea snail and I'm going to make a little face, a little back for his eye, and I'll give him a little smile. So here's my little sea snail. I'm going to glue him on in a minute. I'm going to make a face for my fish. And I'm just putting in little lines 
for the fin. Whoopsie. Very easy. I'm going to make little dots all over my coral because remember on coral, it's hundreds and thousands of little animals that all get together and stay together in a big colony making the coral. So then all I have to do is you glue the small piece that you're going to stick on to the big piece. And you can put them on any way you want. You don't have, if you only want to stop without any little friends on, that's fine. If you only want to have one little friend on, that's fine. You can put as many or as few on as you want because this is your hermit crab. Maybe he doesn't like to have all these things on him. Maybe he likes being just with one really good friend. I am doing all of these because I want to give you ideas on what you can do with your crab. No, really. I think I'm going to switch him real quickly before it dries. Move the sea snail down because remember sea anemones they wave through the through the air through the air <laughs> through the water and we want to have so you can see that they would be waving through the water that's how they catch what they eat and so here is my hermit crab with oops, my other hermit crab and I hope you make a hermit crab of your own. Thanks for coming.